What is up, YouTube? Um, this is episode number five. The letter V, or the number V in Roman numerals. Um, I was actually recording, but... Well, I was, I was recording an episode, but I didn't hit record, so I was just talking to myself. Having a nice, fun time with talking to myself. Just me, myself, and I. But yeah, what I was doing was I was putting in these walls of the... The cyan stained clay. I've already done almost all the way around, so yeah, a little little fail on my part, but it's a rookie mistake. I'm only five episodes in. Um, but as I was saying to myself, um, I was gonna, I was planning on uh, working on the upper deck today. I was actually doing this off camera until I caught my mistake. I wasn't recording, but I was planning on laying out or seeing how high we could make the upper deck. So that was one of the big projects today. Another big project was putting in the ceiling and the floors for these, but I think we'll hold off on the floors for uh, the next episode. Um, another update, I just put the roof on here. Didn't really work on that any yeah, I didn't work on it anything, just put some lanterns in just so no bats would spawn and annoy me. But that will be done one day. One day. Maybe a bonus episode from that. Um, but definitely going to do the floor. Sorry, I hit my mic. I'm um, going to do the floor next episode, I think. I wanted to just get this roof in real quick so we could start seeing how high we can make this upper deck. So after we do that... After I put in this roof, we could see that. Um, it's pretty boring work, so I'm going to do it off camera, and I will be back in un momento. Alright, I am back. I finished um, the roof of the boxes. Um, so now, we can work on um, seeing how high we can make this upper deck. So, one limiting factor is these windows so like if we wanted to actually come down here i couldn't because it would be blocking the view actually you might be able to just go down one level like that let me get in here see if so these guys are going to be sitting uh i mean to be honest i guess it's all right i mean it's blocking <laughs> it's blocking the view, kind of. Maybe we won't just go down. Maybe we'll start it. Um, yeah, we'll start it up here. Um, one thing I did fix um, from last video is that lag. I, I just seemed to re-download the new the jar for this. Um, for the screenshot. And it seemed to just fix all the lag for some reason. I don't know if I had a bad file or what, but it fixed it. So hopefully the video quality comes out better now. Um, we need seats. Uh, stairs. So I'm pretty proud that I fixed that. Another thing I wanted to do in each of my episodes was, since we're kind of sports related, um... I want to make uh, make a little segment that will basically say what I found was cool in sports today or was a big story in sports. So I'm going to start it off. Big story in sports today was the dual no-hitter in uh, MLB baseball, if you follow baseball. Jacob deGrom for the Mets and Jake Peavy for the San Francisco Giants. Both had a dueling no hitter back and forth. Um, Degrom won it because he got the win, uh, but they both went into the seventh inning with the no hitter, so it's pretty impressive. Now for this upper deck, you see the problem. This is good. You can see the field. You go up another one. You can see the field. You go up another one. You can see the field. Go up another one. The view kind of starts getting. A little um, obstructed, so 
something I never did in my stadiums was try to add like another deck after when the seats started to get obstructed. So this is something I wanted to try out. Maybe we could add one that goes three up, maybe. And then goes down. Okay, is this obstructed? No. Nope. Let's try to go down one more. Are you obstructed now? I think so, yeah. Obstructed now, kind of, yeah. So we won't be able to go that, but we will be able to go that much down. Weather clear. And see how much we could go up with these seats. Bang. And now it starts to get obstructed. It's good and good. So I'm thinking something like that. We'll put our end to some, some of the obstructions. I don't know if I would like that though. It'd look a little funky. Um, we'll try something else. Um, another thing, instead of making a secondary deck, we'll just go up like one maybe. See how that looks. Oh yeah, you definitely get more room. What happens if you go up two? Do you get even more room? Yeah. Where are we? We're at the iron gate, so just keep that for reference. Go up another one. Where are we looking? Now we're behind the iron gate. So the further we go up, the more um room we get, but I don't want to go up too high. So I was thinking something like this. There we go. See how high we could get with this. One, two. Should be good from here. Yep. One, two. Should be good again. Yep, and I think maybe just one more, and then we'll call it quits on going up further. Kind of, I guess you, I mean, I guess you could see it. That'll be the cheap sheets anyway, you're not paying for a view. You're paying to just be there. How does that look? Eh, not too, not too, too bad. Definitely want to knock, um, knock this out, make it blue. And blue. Blue to here, and I guess we could curve it in at the end there. Not sure how that will um, look in the grand scheme of things at the end. Definitely looks a little, a little strange on the side. Um, debating, debating, debating. Let's see if we take this off. See how good it looks. If we do end up taking it off, I would like to end it maybe right here. When we add, it'll be a pretty small upper deck. Only adding how many seats? Five rows. Uh, I'm thinking. Five would put us in line to have a wall right here and have a very flush outside of the stadium. So, you know what? I think we'll, sub we'll settle with um, a small upper deck. I think it'll be uh, rather good looking. And then actually on top of these walls, so we built up a wall this big. Would it be enough for a, yeah, it'd be enough for a concourse where you could walk underneath. So it'll be all, go, all good here. Um, but up on top of these walls, it's gonna add um, the lights 
likes to go all the way around the stadium. So that would be pretty uh, nice. Too bad they don't have like floodlights in this um, game. You can make the, like you could shine them down onto the field. That'd look pretty cool. Light up the field at night. Um, maybe we could find a way to sneak in light. Maybe with carpet actually. Hold up. Carpet. So if we did this, put a lamp underneath here where the snow is. Yeah, might be able to might be able to light up the it that way. So you know what? Actually I'm gonna do that right now, see how it looks, and I'll be back with you in a second. Alright, I'm back. As you can see the field now looks like it's lit up a little bit more. Gotta place down the carpet. Um and actually we could do a logo as well. Should light up it even more. So it moves the light out just a little bit. Put some more down. And the carpet. What I could do is actually make this field look like turf. If we went with something like this. Can make we could light up the whole field this way. Make it look like turf. I'm not sure if I want to actually do that though. See what it looks like. Yeah, it doesn't look too good. Um, another thing we have to do is replace the snow blocks here with wool, because unfortunately you can't place these torches on carpet. So now the snow would look out of place, but against the wool. That's not a big deal. So now we have a pretty lit up um, field. So it'll look pretty good at night. Um, cover that, cover that, and we're good. Now we just gotta lay down. I actually put some behind the benches here, so just wanna cover that up with the blue. And then the white. And then we'll get back to our upper deck madness. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad if you look at it from a far ways away. You won't even be able to notice. Unless maybe you could. No, you can't, unfortunately. about other places where we could even hide it but maybe we could put smaller logos on the field maybe I don't know because some of the grass isn't as bright as I would want it to be but I think it'll do we could also put some under here but it's already lit because of these lamps so it can be a waste to do that Also, one of one of these days, I want to make a one-to-one -one scale stadium, like actual size. It would be pretty fun. But these NFL stadiums nowadays uh, hold like eighty thousand people, so that'd be eighty thousand stairs that I'd have to place somehow. <laughs> I'd be up for the challenge. That would be a long, long build and series. So maybe, um, maybe after we do some of some of the other stadiums. I think it'd get a little boring after a while. Could be wrong though. So there we go. Stadium now lit. Let's set the time to I don't know what's night ten. Uh I just reset. Uh, I forget the numbers. Um time set. 
a hundred. Then do anything. <laughs> okay. Time set zero. Oh. Well, we'll have to wait again. So I think this is our design. And for underneath here, for our walkway. Uh, hmm, for our walkway, we could actually just put a half slab under here. And a half slab of this, and then it'll look pretty uniform. And then we could have our windows here. So it'd be a three wide walkway. So that's something we'll have to do in the future. Um, so I guess for these floors, we, I think we agreed upon the oak, the dark oak, dark oak wood. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll set up a uh, one box right now. See what it looks like. Maybe we'll do this little one. Cause I think most of them are actually five, which this one is. And I actually wanted to make it half slabs, slabs. Just so it gives it an extra half locker room. Oh, but then, but then you couldn't place things, so I can't do that. I mean, I guess I could have made this half less, but I don't feel like tearing it out all again. I mean, I could, but we'll see if two is good enough. If it's not, we could raise the roof by half a block. So let's see what we could do here. I'm thinking. I'm always thinking, but place it, please, please. No. Um. There we go. Now I can place it. Uh, I was thinking two and one. And then sign like that. It's not too much different than the other one over there. And I'll just think we'll take our I forget what it's called, aqua. It's not called aqua or marine, it's something marine. Uh what do you call it? Prismarine. And then maybe we could do this. Knock that out, stove. No, not a call. Uh, how long have you been playing this game? Furnace there. Uh, fence. Fence there. Bam, lamp there. Juke. Juke box. Because he is a juke box hero. There are stars in his eyes. So there we go. Got that. And then here's the middle. And there we go. I think we'll just roll with a wooden door. Because these aren't as expensive as the other one. And then let's put the wooden door on in there. There's our finished room. That is a... That is a 5x5. Five five. I think we'll keep for all the 5x5s five here. There's also a lot of 3x3s, three which is... Here's a 4 one. Here's 3. Here's another big one. Here's a 3. Here's a 3. So a 3 is going to be pretty hard to put a lot of detail in. Actually, well, yeah, let's do this one, and then... Hopefully it will become night so we can see all the fields. And then for actually under here, I was thinking of just doing half slabs. Um, I guess regular stone half slabs or something. Something like that. Because I don't think wood looks good. Well, it could. I mean, we don't know how wood it will look like once it's finished. But let's do this one. See how we can set up one of these. Um, I need my 
through my stairs again. There we go. I could put the stair. Huh. Eh. As if we did like a little couch. Then you couldn't get in there. So. Um, maybe something like this. Change it up a little bit. But then it takes away a seat room, so. I also forgot to replace these blocks here. So let me do that real quick before I forget. And of course it starts raining again. Weather clear. And fill this up. We're gonna need a light somewhere, so definitely a lamp. And maybe we can accommodate the jukebox here. Or actually, lamp over here will keep it the same because the lamp's on this side and the other one. Jukebox here. Prismarine there. So it's definitely a little cramped in here, but I think I think it works. I think it does work. Looks good. And the door. So I think that will be our general model for the three and the general model for the five. So that's going to look pretty good. The sun is setting. So since we have the time, let's work on let's work on a four. Change it up a little bit. Four blocker. So the door is going to have to be offset somewhere. Maybe we could do a two, two door. Kind of. Actually, now let's not do a two door. That would take up um, some wall space that we could use. Put that there. The lamp will go on this side as usual. Jukebox will go there. And I need my stairs again. Something I can get rid of. I guess the door we can get rid of. Uh, knock this out. Oh, wrong block. Could do a one and then a one. That'd be pretty cool looking. Or we could do just a three together. Or we could do a two and a one. No, we can't. So it could either be two or three together. So. I'm leaning more towards the two because it's a little bit different than the other ones. Like this one has two and one, one and one, and then two together. So maybe just one and one. Nothing wrong with that. Except if we wanted to do the prismarine, can't bring it out, but you could just keep it like this. Bring it around there. Give it a little more space than, than the other ones here. So there we go. And then we need the door again. Thought I put a door on here, so I got rid of it. Um, Signs you can get rid of, I guess. And then, of course, um, outside of every door and outside of every exit, we'll put up like the section numbers. So. People know where they're going, where they got their tickets to sit. And then I think I might have mentioned this in another video, but I was thinking of doing big sweeping arches. Not not up to here though. I think I would cut it off somewhere around here, maybe. And we would do just some arches all the way down to each end, so. It could look good. The only bad part or the hard part would be uh, getting getting the arches on these corner pieces. It would be definitely a little bit difficult. Maybe we could do something with that. Sun should be going down in a second now, so we'll be able to see. 
How are we going there? Oh, also, another idea I forgot to tell you about. Originally, the big plan, this was the secret. The big plan was to have bleachers on top of the here. But now, since we have like a section, and I don't really want bleachers on here because I think it would take away from the the view of the building or the the look of the building. I don't think it would take away anybody's view of the building. Um, I was thinking maybe like a party deck with um, umbrellas, chairs, tables, places to get food, something like that. That'd be pretty cool, I think. And then all all it would be is just glass panes on top of here, making sure people don't fall off. So I think it'd look pretty cool. And now that the sun is going down, we will see how our field looks at night. It looks like an M. Except this one's broken because this this lamp goes out to there. I think they might just want to take away these lamps because it just the OCD factor, you know. Get that done. Give me those. There we go. So now they're pretty even looking. So our field is pretty lit at night, which I'm proud of. Thinking maybe we could just put maybe one here where you kick extra extra points at. Hide a glowstone or a, a lantern block under there. And it light it up pretty much. So just something to think about. Uh, that's it for me for this episode. Next episode, we'll work on the floors of these and start decorating them all the way around. And then we could start getting to work on the upper deck. So thank, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, any feedback is greatly appreciated. And I will see you on episode number six. See you.